What happened? Uh, he got a better job. And uh, some way or another, he made some arrangements with somebody. So we moved to Queen Anne Hill. That was a nicer place to live. They uh, didn't have very much furniture. So then was the time that they went down to the Standard Furniture Company and they bought a whole house full of furniture. And that sounds like a lot of money, but things were pretty cheap in those days. But I remember in our house, they had a, a nice uh, table in our house with a lamp. It was one of those with glass in the shade. And they had a sofa. It was what they called a five-room house. Two bedrooms, a bath, dining room, living room, kitchen, just two bedrooms. My mother and father occupied one bedroom. The two girls occupied the other bedroom. So the only thing that was left was to sleep on the sofa. We on the hill, it was uh, very nice. The whole family was very happy. My mother uh, was a member of the PTA. One year she was head of the PTA. I used to, uh, I got a paper route with the Seattle Times. I could buy uh, little card tokens for two and a half cents a piece. So well, I got out of school and uh, at that time I was going to high school. So when I got out of high school at uh, two o'clock, I went down to the Times and I picked up my papers and I went over and got the West Queen Anne car. So it cost me five cents to go down the Times and back up on Queen Anne Hill. And I delivered the route. On foot? On foot. I think that there was an understanding that if I waited until later, there would be a truck that would come around and leave the papers. But I was thinking more about play. I could get off at two o'clock, I'd go over and get the car, and get the paper and get on the car, and I'd get off and start in and deliver the paper route. And I was through by about uh, uh, 3.30 or 4 o'clock, and there was um, plenty of time to play. I used to play a lot of handball when I was in uh, Queen Anne Hill. What did that consist of, handball? There just happened to be a place in uh, school where there was a nice wall and uh, there was a building alongside and there was um, a sort of a graded fence along the other side. So we played a lot of handball there. Three wall. Three wall. Just three ball, three wall handball. No gloves. Mostly it was one ball handball. One ball. It wasn't until later on when I got down here that I started playing three wall handball. But nevertheless, um, those were pleasant times in Seattle. Do you remember some of your playmates? Then? Yeah, yeah, but none very well. What other early memories do you have of living on Queen Anne Hill? I earned enough money with that paper route that I bought a bicycle. That was a great pleasure for me, was that bicycle. It gave me a chance to get around. Do you remember how much the bike cost? $39.50. It was quite a bit. I bought that at Standard Furniture Company on time, just like all the other things that folks did. I would give them uh, like three or four dollars a month until the bike was paid off. In uh, 1924, I had finished high school. Uh, I mean the first year, first year of high school. It was in the summertime, all of a sudden, uh, my uh, stepfather came home. He went in the house and he changed his clothes and uh, he left. I asked my mother if he was sick. She said, no, he wasn't sick. She said, uh, he uh, has just left his job. 
and he's going to work down at the Times. It so happened that before he ever came down to San Diego, he had been in a habit hearing about it through some friend that it was part-time work down at the Times, sometimes on Friday night and on Saturday night, stuffing papers the Seattle Times. down at the Seattle Times. So on this particular day, he changed clothes, and he went down to Seattle Times, and he stuffed papers down there Saturday night. The next day, he left, and uh, my mother said he was going down in town to look for a job. I'm not sure, but I think my mother had been crying. As it turned out, everything had fallen apart. What happened? He had lost his job through unfortunate circumstances, and uh, nobody would give him a job unless he could tell him where he worked on his last job. and. Uh, they wouldn't give him a recommendation. So uh, in a very short time, we were evicted from the house. All of the furniture was picked up from the Standard Furniture Company. That's the last I ever saw of my bicycle. Where was Harry Orr at this time? Harry Orr was either with her or he was out scouting around trying to find a job.